Hey guys, uh, this is Duli. Uh, so in this video, we will start talking about uh, set operations. And uh, the set operations are just uh, these four that you're looking at here on the screen. Uh, you have distinct, accept, and intersect, and uh, union. These are the four operators you can use to do set operations on different collections. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go to VS Code and start talking about how to use distinct. Let's go there. Okay, so as you can see, I'm explaining here. Uh, what you expect this thing to do is to take a collection that has uh, data in it. Uh, it could be integers, could be strings, uh, it could be custom objects. And what you expect for it to do is to remove duplicates out of that collection of data. Okay, so uh, you can see here you had two as duplicates here and you don't have that as duplicates in the resulting uh, collection okay so in the program I have a list of uh, integers where there are duplicates and I have a list of strings uh, where there are duplicates as well so in this one I have orange mango and cherry repeated at the end of the array at, at the end of the list here I have a couple of functions uh, that allows me to print uh, whatever data I give to it. Uh, I sort of got tired of writing for loop over and over again so I just uh, provided these functions here. Uh, this is for uh, for an innumerable of integers and, and an innumerable of objects so I can print, uh, uh, print them and so on. Okay so all you have to do uh, to get uh, these distinct uh, uh, collections is called a distinct operator on the collection. All right, so let's go ahead and create a local variable to get the distinct of uh, what's in data. Okay, let's just call them distinct data. Okay, and all we want is say data that distinct. Okay, and that right here will give you what you need. But just to make sure they look decent, let's just order them uh, uh, from from low to high in an ascending order. So it's going to be data, data. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and print these. No, oh, that shouldn't be A. That should be D. Let's type. Okay, let's go ahead and print uh, this collection and see what we get. So let's just print print collection here and just call distinct data. All right, let's see what we get. So what we expect here is to get this uh, list here, but without the duplicates. All right. All right, as you can see, we get 2, 4, 12, 23, 32, 56. Okay, you get 2, 4, 12, 23, 32, and 56. And you can see that you had 4 twice, it doesn't repeat that. You had 2 twice, it doesn't repeat that. It had 23 twice, it doesn't repeat that. So uh, it's being... Uh, done properly. Now we can essentially do the same thing for the string uh, uh, list. So let's do that. Let's do fruit, distinct fruit. Okay, and all we're going to have to do is essentially the same thing. And you can order them alphabetically as well. Order by, we want the fruit, and we get the fruit. Okay, so we can do the same thing here by printing the stick fruits. Okay, and what we expect here is to get uh, this list right here but without the uh, last three uh, which are duplicates in that in that list okay 
right? And uh, on top of it, we get them in alphabetical order uh, due to what we called here. All right, so this is uh, this video. It's, it's a fairly simple uh, operator to use. But if you want to use this operator for objects, uh, custom objects that you've created, uh, there is some uh, little tweaking you have to do. So that's the subject of the, of the next video. Uh, so this is this video, guys. If you uh, like the videos, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button. And uh, if you've got questions, go ahead and, and put them in the comment questions. I'll get back to you. Um, so um, I will see you next time. All right.